this will be the unboxing of my new Alienware M11X R3. Just open this up here. Instructions. It's got the uh Looks like it's got the uh, um, Alienware box that uh, they, I think all of them come standard in this box. I am not sure. You can, uh, but you can let me know in the comments below. Put this down for a second. got the um, it's got the alien head on the front of the box and on the back too looks like um, well let's uh let's open this baby up and, and see what she can do let's see we got uh, the accessories box here. Take, open it up and take a look inside. Let's see what we got here. We got the uh, looks like the instructions for the laptop, which I'll never use. I'm not tech ignorant. Uh, Uh, we got the operating system and got the uh, M11XR3 resources disk in the operating system itself. We got the uh, power cord, the power brick for it, which is uh, seems like it's much much smaller than my last one from my previous M11XR2. And let's see here, there's that. Now here, I've got the uh, actual M11X itself, uh, nicely wrapped in a, I don't know, velvet-like, uh, velvet-like bag. Uh, I don't know if you could see the writing on there or not, but uh, it has Alienware branded on the crust of it. Uh, pull this thing out. Comes uh, really nice. It's uh, seems like they uh, padded up pretty good for make sure it doesn't have uh, any impact damage or you know because um, some of them UPS man and FedEx guys they uh, like to throw shit around when shit don't go their way. So uh, take this thing off and we'll see what uh, see what happens here. Put this down for a second. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Good spot. Okay, we here we got the uh, M11 XR3. Uh, and the bag here, I'll open it up and uh, we'll see what it looks like. If there's any uh, physical changes from the uh, R2 model, which I don't think there is if I read the web website correctly. Uh, uh, 
uh, the outer exterior, the exterior looks pretty, uh, pretty similar to the, uh, it looks pretty similar to the, um, R2. Doesn't look like there's any physical differences, but of course, uh, most of you already know, this is, compared to the, uh, the M11X R2, this is a actual shit brick house for power. Uh, compared to the other one, there's the lighting effects. Um, oh, and just so you know, I do have an M11X R2 here with me. Got the uh, Alienware Tactex headset. Got that, and. Ugh. Here we go. And uh, underneath this is uh, underneath the R3 we have a cool master yeah uh, a, a cool master strike force 19 model uh, air cooler which uh, 240 millimeter fans run maybe around 2800 rpm. The, uh, um, I'm not gonna shit you not, you can feel the air like two, three feet in the air. It's, uh, pretty powerful. I'd suggest it to anybody who wants to get a, uh, <coughs> a good notebook cooler, especially for, uh, powerhouses like these. Um, let me just undo my m 11 XR2 here. One second. There's the R2, there's the R3, which I have yet to set up just yet, but uh, we'll do that here in a minute. So, just open that bad boy up and boot that thing up there. So we got the, uh, we got the R2 model and the R3 model side by side. Uh, from my understanding, the R2 only has a uh, 1.6 overclockable processor, i7 of course. Don't go cheap with these things because it's really not worth it. If you're going to go cheap, you might as well just uh, build your own. <coughs> now, however, this, however, has a 1.7 overclockable to, I think it was 3.1 gigahertz with turbo boost. Um, which means it can go even faster than its original factory clock. So, we will start this up here. Now this one, keep in mind, this one is a uh, year and a half old. It's a little slower, not quite as uh, powerful as my new R3. Um, however, um, both good machines, nonetheless, uh, very good machines. I do not, however, like the fact that this, I've had issues with this as far as the Alienware breed theme. It will not work, and it seems that... Uh, Usually, it doesn't happen a lot, but I have an issue with the boot up time. It takes anywhere from 3 to 18 minutes to boot up. So, that is actually why Alienware has agreed to send me the uh, new R3 model. And within 8 to 10 days, I have to return the R2 model, which I plan on doing after I... Uh, reformat the hard drive and wipe all my information out. Uh, don't need them bastards getting a hold of anything. So, let's see here. We'll set that up later. Um, just to 
give you an idea what the specs are in this computer. Um, I will uh, show you exactly what is running underneath this hood here. We have um, Windows Windows 7 Ultimate uh, with Service Pack 1. We have um, Manufacturer's Alienware, of course, obvious. Um, rating of a system rating of 3.3, an Intel R Core uh, i7 CPU U640, uh, 1.2 overclockable to 1.6, I think, is the max. Uh, as far as RAM, I have 8 gigs, 7.8 usable, and 64 bit operating system. Uh, now, that is. That is about it for that. Um, not much I can really show you on this one because, uh, of course, all my games and most of everything else is basically wiped out now because I had to get this thing here. Um, <laughs> I didn't really want to have to replace my R2 model because I like it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this new one's a more of a powerhouse anyway as it is, so that's cool. Uh, here in a minute, I will go ahead and show you... Um, I will go ahead and show you uh, the Strike Force Cool Master uh, Strike Force Model 19 uh, cooler. I don't know if any of you have seen this. For $75, you can't go wrong. You really want something that's going to keep you uh, keep your laptop cool while you're gaming, especially if you're overclocked. Uh, this is definitely the thing to do. It um, one second here, and <coughs> I will. Matter of fact. Uh, Let's see here. There doesn't seem to be any plugs around here right now, so I'll get to that later. We'll do another, uh, we'll do a review on that one, actually, a review on this. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, got rubber on the sides of it, and uh, the LEDs are on the bottom. Uh, fan controls over there. Now, these are the USB 3.0s. Uh, super speed. It's got uh, four of them, and it's got HDMI. Uh, you have to, of course, hook that up to your laptop or something, because those don't run by themselves. So you have to use a spare port, but you're gaining four, so <laughs> you can't really, you're not really losing anything. Uh, let's see here. I don't really know what else to show you guys on the uh, R2 model, because this one's kind of screwed up anyway. Uh, but other than that, you can see that the... Uh, breathe theme that comes installed on most of the uh, Alienware's does not work. I got the regular Windows 7 look and feel to it. Uh, uh, sorry about the uh, blur. Not very good. But uh, that's about it for my review on first impressions of this machine. Uh, before I go ahead and end this video here, I do have to say this one is a uh, very, very nice one. Uh, basically, there's not much that changed other than on the outside, other than uh, your two USB 3.0. Uh, I don't know if I have a flashlight here. I can actually uh, get you one and show it to you here. <laughs> 